In this Playrate video, I will talk about how to read .env file configurations in Playwright with TypeScript. So it is very easy and simple. Just you need to install the npm install .env hyphen hyphen save. So let's quickly create a new spec file and we will see how to read the .env file configurations. So here I'm creating a one folder called chapter file under chapter 5 I am creating a new spec file called 01 so it will say read env file underscore test dot spec dot ts so that's it so here I will go to the one of the spec file and I will copy the test from the previous spec file. So that's it guys. So in this test, if you see this particular test, so it is very simple. So let me explain you. So before that, let's update the test title. So here I'll say read env file config in playwright so that's it guys so if you see this particular test firstly we are going to the google.com then we are searching with the some keywords here and then we are getting the results and we are clicking on the playlist and at the end we are validating the title of the web page right so what i will do is in the line number nine we are passing the www.google.com right so we are passing the url here so let's read it from the dot env file and we will pass on to the go to method so let's quickly create a env file inside the project folder so here i'm creating a file called dot env and inside the dot env file i'm adding a property called google underscore url then here i will add the url this particular url so that's it guys so let's read the this particular url from the dot env in the spec file to access the any configuration or any value from the dot env file so what you need to do is you need to pass the process dot env followed by the property name here that is the key name so here we have given the key name as google url so let's pass the url here so that's it guys now if you run this particular test right guys so it will not work so let me keep it in the single quotes so it, this particular test will not work properly because we have not installed the .env package, right? So let's run the test and it will get failed. So let me run, run the test now because it is unable to get the URL. So our test will get failed. And if you see here guys, so it is unable to read the URL. So that's the reason our test is getting failed. Now, before installing installing the .env package or a plugin, so you need to enable few lines in the playwright.config.ts file. So you can go here and if you scroll to the top, so you need to uncomment these three lines of code. That's it guys. So here you will see the error. So let it be there. Now, 
I will go to the this particular page and I will copy the command. By using this we can install the .env package. So here I will go to the terminal. So let's install the .env package by using npm install .env hyphen hyphen save. So that's it guys. So we are able to install the .env plugin. So let's wait for some time and if you see here guys in the playwright.config.ts file we had the error here that error gone. So let's save and close it. Now let's try to run the same test now. So this time we should be able to fetch the Google URL from the .env file. So let's run the test now and this time and our test should get passed. See guys we are able to fetch the URL and let's go to the VS code now and our test is perfectly working fine and we are able to fetch the configuration from the .env file. So this is how you can keep all the configurations or any data in the .env file and this is how you can fetch it from the .env file in Playwright Automation Framework.